My name is Umut Khair Ahmed Shale. I live in Garissa, the northern part of Kenya. Climate change has affected us globally, but in the northern part of Kenya, in Garissa, it has really affected us. We are nomadic pastoralists. When drought comes in as a hazard, there is loss of livelihood. The children, they drop out of school. There is early marriages, there is early pregnancies. There is a lot of, a lot of challenges. I have been attending the LDAC sessions for 10 weeks and it has been really impactful as an individual and to the community. It's a safe space where you can come together and talk about the issues that are affecting us in the community. Radio will never go out of stock or out of fashion because anybody in the rural area will not require data to use radio. For this UNICEF-funded project, we had 20 radio programs, 10 targeting the youths and 10 targeting the parents. Using the material in the radio shows, they're essentially going into their communities um, and taking action on it. And this is the key objective of the project, is to create a, a sustainable change where people can have a say on the key issues in their communities. There is the need for uh, cre creation awareness uh, through social media influence. It first added me knowledge of different things that are happening in the community. I am more courageous to talk about those issues in the community. As an artist, it has really encouraged me to like uh, advocate more on climate change and any other issue through art. <laughs> When you engage your people one-on-one, -on -one, you discuss the things, what they are facing on the grounds, you will get solution to it. So involving them in decision-making process, that advocacy itself will make us even grow economically, politically, socially. In measuring behavior change, you don't achieve it overnight. We need to take a longer period of time to realize the changes in the community. So going forward, we want to co-create more with, um, with the locals, both, both here in Garissa, but also Wajir and, and Mandera, to really have their voices sort of build the program. My hope for the program is that we continue the program because we've already built a, a name that uh, has approval within the communities. Living in the northern part of Kenya, and doing something like art is something new. It's not something in the norms and what the community is used to. What I would really love in the near future is to open an art school in Garissa.